My name is Gavin Crow. My name is Jenna Gia, and welcome to Panther News. Today is the last day for the annual FCC LA Thanksgiving canned food drive for Manor House. Students can turn their cans into their first period teacher or Miss Walker's room in, 170, er, in 712. You can donate up to 20 cans total and earn one hour community service per 10 cans. The, last, the first period to collect the most cans will win, the, will win a prize. Avid is selling popcorn for $3 a bag or two bags for $5. The flavors include salsa, white cheddar, vanilla, and caramel. See Miss Neef, Miss Foreman, Coach Johnson, or Miss Scather to purchase and support Avid. Seniors, it's time for your parents to pull out your most embarrassing baby pictures and compile them into a collage for your senior yearbook ad. Where am I? Show your work now. You tried to buy the yearbook at a discounted price, didn't you? As for me, I'm here because I tried to buy a senior ad that is currently $290, but I only had $1. You can also buy a senior ad. One eighth of the page is $65, one fourth of the page is $120, one half of the page is $160, and the full page is $290. Senior ads are due today. Parents can purchase through Jostens.com. See Ms. Fondren in room 173 if you have any questions. HOSA is once again collecting socks for a senior citizen center in Cedar Hill for Thanksgiving. If you would like to donate some socks, please bring them to Ms. Salzar in Lab 1. Also, HOSA will be collecting change to donate to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. Their main goal is to help with cancer research and pediatric cancer patients. Jars for donations will be located in various classrooms throughout the month of November, so look out for one and help be a part of the change. There are many clubs and organizations at MHS that you can be a part of. Panther TV reporters want to show you what, you, what these clubs can do and how to join. Let's take a look at this week's club clips. Where is Culinary Club? Culinary Club, it's the club for those who have some kind of interest in cooking, but not quite sure, I believe. With it, you can learn a little bit about what we do in the class. Right now, we are, have a few fundraisers in mind that we might do, but not certain which ones exactly. We meet every other Thursday, and I, I believe this Thursday we have one in this week. Where do you all meet? We meet in the culinary room, which is room 729. Well, we discuss what fundraisers we're going to do, and we're f trying to figure out our shirt at the moment. Having a little trouble with that, I think. <laughs> Student Council will be selling No Shave November passes during lunch no throughout the whole month of November. The pass is $10 and you must be displayed with your ID badge. All the funds raised go to support cancer research. As most of you know, election day was this past Tuesday. There were many close races across the nation. After a long campaign for both parties, Ted Cruz will be the Texas Senator for the next six years. This is not the last we will hear from Beto O'Rourke, though. He has said that he will continue to fight for the people of Texas. A series of wildfires have been racing up and down California this week, destroying any structures in their way and forcing thousands of people to evacuate. The high winds and low humidity have caused the fires to spread rapidly. Question of the day is, if a to the power of 2 minus 26a plus 69 equals 0, if a minus 5 greater than 0, a equals 3, b equals 5, c equals 18, or d equals 23? And the trivia question of the day is, in 2003, which U.S. state was officially declared the birthplace of aviation? A, Tennessee, B, California, C, Ohio, or D, Minnesota? Track and field season is quickly approaching. If you're interested in being part of this team, please see Coach Johnson in room 635. Practices start very soon. If you're interested in trying out for the girls' soccer program and are not currently in the soccer class, please scan and complete the QR code that is outside Coach Stapleton's class, Coach Mack's class, or the girls' soccer locker room. If you have any questions, please see one of the coaches. Deadline is Wednesday, November 14th. Boys basketball tryouts will be held tomorrow from 10 to 12 in the arena. Please see Coach Middleton if you have any questions. 
The Varsity Panther football team has clinched their spot in the 5A district playoffs. They had a fun victory last night over Waco University. The final score was 45-12. to They will play in their playoff game next week versus Red Oak. Pay attention to the announcements for the date and time as it is still being finalized. Back to you at the news desk. And the answer for the trivia question of the day is D23. And the answer for the question of the day is C, Ohio. Thanks for tuning in today. We hope to see you next time. And as always, go to and go Panthers.